She's not even going to be able to, like, realize it. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> She's like, what is happening? <laughs> He's enjoying just, like, smelling her. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my god, because she, cause she peed herself. And just she smells bad. This is like a weird reunion, though. Does she not recognize him? Because he's so much older? She doesn't recognize Rudy! What? She really doesn't realize it's him. Oh my god, Rudy's gonna be devastated. <laughs> it's his master. <laughs> oh man, dude, Roxy just like passed out. I wonder if that was just kind of her like delirium. Surely she knows who he is. <laughs> okay, good. She just didn't realize it was him in that moment. <laughs> he couldn't believe that he forgot her. Or she forgot him. Yeah, it's been so long since they've seen each other. He's a, he's a grown man. That's such a successful mission, though, man. Like, getting Roxy back is so big. And I know Rudy just wants to talk to her. <laughs> He's creeping. He's about to try to get himself another relic. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to catch up on. Oh, look at Roxy. She's so adorable. She's back on her feet. Let's go. They got a party now, man. <laughs> he sensed the goddess. <laughs> I love how he was able to sense her like that. Oh, Roxy's a little shy now that Rudy's uh, old and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many years go by, she will always be his master. Oh, this is everything I wanted. <laughs> She's still tiny. Oh. <laughs> Roxy was in there a while. Maybe she can provide some, like, keen intel. And Roxy might actually be able to help them kind of connect the dots with that teleporter book as well. <laughs> what is he doing? He's like pacing. He's just so happy to like have her back and to be with Roxy again. Oh, he's more than happy to, like, help her out. <laughs> Roxy's kind of embarrassed. She remembers him as this little kid, and now he's double her size, basically. Oh, let's go right back into the action. Roxy at full strength and Rudy fighting together, along with everybody else. This is a party not to be trifled with. They should make great ground in the labyrinth. <laughs> oh, he's happy for that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's something behind that, though. Oh, 
Oh, they'd be able to tackle one, no problem. That sure would be fun. She doesn't know that he's married, though, and has a kid on the way. Like, I don't think he filled her in with all that stuff. Yeah, Rudy's got to be careful once he becomes a father. I don't know if he can partake in all these dangerous adventures. Oh! We got, like, some dudes with armor. Water God-style techniques. Oh, each floor gets progressively more difficult then, for sure. <laughs> Quagmire, yeah! Just completely make the, the floor turn into mud. They're so capable when they work together. <laughs> Let's go, Alina Lise. Let's go, Paul. Yeah, dude. This is what I'm here for, man. Yo, Geese Loki doesn't even do anything. They're the ones always fighting. Yeah! Okay, Roxy, I see you. Oh, that's true. They were in Windport at the same time. Oh, and now they just get to catch up on everything that's happened. Like, they've been apart for so long. And she really does owe Rudy's family. I'm sure she's happy to come and try to save Zenith. I feel like she learned as much from Rudy as Rudy learned from her. And we still don't know what the deal is with his mom, where she is, how she's being captured. They've cleared out so many of these rooms. So this has to be the teleportation to the fifth stratum then as well. She's going to be in like the last freaking one. They're just venturing deeper and deeper into unknown territories. There's going to be some type of boss. There's multiple circles. Oh, I don't like that. This is where the book ends too. Oh no. Please don't split up. Please do not split up, man. Yeah, they don't know where it's going to lead. Oh my god, my fear is that they're going to split up into twos. There's three circles. <laughs> is that his girlfriend? <laughs> she, he still hasn't told Roxy about Sylph yet? They're putting all the pressure on Rudy for this choice? He can sense something about this specific circle. What does his dad want to tell him? <laughs> True. Is it something about Roxy? Like, what's the deal? Hurt the party's morale. What is he referring to? He's dual wielding out here. He's seen this room before? Whoa! No way! It's like a replica of the ruins! Oh, that's crazy! So all three of these portals lead to the wrong spot. There's a hollow portion in the floor. Oh, there we go. Whoa. 
Rudy with the quick thinking. That was so smart. And this is where they truly need to go. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't step onto one of those circles. <laughs> Roxy's so funny. They can keep on descending. Oh, the big pink circle. Oh, that's the one. Well, there we go. Roxy's back with the group. Our goddess Roxy has returned. And it was so freaking funny how when Rudy has hugged her, he gave her like a sniff. <laughs> Just like uh, old times a little bit. Sensed his goddess and came running to go ahead and save her. I love how she just didn't know who he was because it had been so long. He was like, what? Like, I don't know, seven, eight years old. So it's been like almost like a decade since Roxy saw Rudy. And back then Rudy was like probably up to her waist. I love how hurt like Rudy was by that. But it makes sense. He's a grown man now. Of course she doesn't recognize him. I think she'll always kind of view him as, you know, that little kid. But we did see in this episode that, you know, she kind of definitely, you know, maybe has a little bit of a crush on Rudy or at least thinks he's think that he's handsome at the very least because of the way she's just kind of blushing and being all bashful um, around him. She's not used to seeing him like that, being all tall and masculine and manly and powerful in, in that type of a way. But man, the party is really making some, some good ground in this labyrinth. They're clearing these stratums and we see Rudy use his intellect and call back to the ruins. It's crazy how this specific room was almost like a one-to-one -one replica of those ruins that Alina Lise and him found. It's just so good to have Roxy back though. I love her presence and how funny she is and just kind of how adorable she is. And it's really cool to see her in action and fighting alongside with Rudy as well. I'm surprised they didn't like fully catch up though. Like she still doesn't know that Rudy is married and has a kid on the way. Cause she asked if he had a girlfriend and like, I almost don't want him to tell her the truth. It might break Roxy's heart a little bit. But, like, I'm surprised they didn't just, like, catch up on everything that's been happening. But I guess they're so focused on saving Rudy's mom and kind of strategizing for, you know, descending further into this labyrinth that there's not necessarily the time. I think the last thing I want to touch on is in this episode was it was interesting that little piece of info kind of Paul slipped to Rudy. Like, there's something he needs to tell him, but not right now, not currently. Like, he, he kind of glanced towards Roxy a little bit, but there was something he was hiding. I don't know if he kind of had a metaphor there, because he was talking about his two swords and how he has his two swords now. I don't know if that refers to maybe a metaphor for talking about Zenith and Lilia or, or what the deal is. I don't know if he was kind of encouraging Rudy to maybe you know, hit on Roxy a little bit. And, you know, Paul has two wives. Rudy can have two wives. I don't know what was going on there, but I thought that interaction was kind of interesting and telling. Um, but that's going to be it for me, you guys. If y'all enjoyed this episode, let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section down below. And as always, you guys, I mean the world to me if you would like and or subscribe. So it helped me out a ton. Until next time, y'all. Take care. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.